So Jamie, you chose Ray's Boathouse. Tell us why it's your favorite. The food is fantastic, but it is an amazing view. You're sitting there looking over the, the bay and it's just beautiful and uh, it's just a quintessential Seattle place. I think it's a great place for tourists as well um, when they come here to get a really great experience there. And what did you have on your recent visit? I had uh, started with fresh oysters on the half shell and then ordered the uh, Chatham Straits um, sable fish, sake kasu. Uh, so it's marinated in the leaves of the sake, and it's just wonderful and sweet and caramelized and delicious. Whenever I go there, I always order one Alaskan king crab leg to top off my dish. It was delicious. Now, Madeline, you had oysters as well when you visited, right? I did, and they were fabulous. I had three different kinds, and I wish I had known about the Alaskan oh, king see, crab. I think thing. it's a secret. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do that the next king. time I go yes. there. I also had the Dungeness crab salad, which was... Uh, really surprising. Um, it had coconut flakes in it. It was uh, kind of Asian inspired and not something that I expected to have at uh, Ray's Boathouse. And it was very refreshing and a great salad to have. Any other standouts? The dessert, oh, <laughs> amazing uh, quadruple chocolate mousse and two of my favorite uh, flavors because it came with a, an orange caramel sauce and the chocolate and the orange together. Uh, so good. What did you have, Mike? We had the uh, mussels and the crab cake, uh, and we dipped bread into the red curry mm -hmm. sauce, which was awesome. And we got really full really fast, and I was like, we ordered entrees too. So I was like, slow down, slow down. <laughs> I had the halibut, which was the special, and both pieces of fish were like the size of a shoe. It was, wow. I, mean, I was already like, I, I was already full. <laughs> it came out, and I was like, I cannot believe this much fish, it was, it was amazing. This, when the sake kasu sable fish came out, it looked like it should be on the cover of a magazine. It was so yeah. pretty and it was such a big piece of fish. It was yep. just oh, gorgeous. And <laughs> after that, you know, I, we had to try dessert. And when my girlfriend watches the show and hears how much you like the mousse, she's gonna kill me for not ordering it. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, I can't do chocolate right now. I have way, way too much food in my belly. So instead we went with the cheesecake, which I think was probably the mistake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, much lighter. Much lighter. You said tiramisu. I'm half Italian. Like, tiramisu. I gotta try tiramisu. So. And the kids menu at Ray's Boathouse is amazing. We actually ordered for the kids uh, these huge bowls of steamed clams and this dill butter sauce, and the kids just gobble them up. And, great for dipping bread. Yeah, it's great for dipping <laughs> bread. I mean, and it was so um, it was so big that we were able to share amongst the table, and uh, it was a really good deal. Talk to me about the look and feel of Ray's Mike because you there's an upstairs and there's a downstairs portion. So where did you dine? Well, the way I was dressed, I should have went to the upstairs because I, <laughs> I, I showed up after hockey. I, I showered, but uh, but I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And like I'm thinking, you know, I didn't know it was going to be as nice as it was. I see Ray's Boathouse. I'm like, oh, it's like you know, it's a salty bar. I'm going to wear some oysters and a beer. And we get there and there's like valley parking. I was like, oh no, they were still cool. They weren't you know, like, oh no, don't worry about it. I said, is there a dress code here? I said, no, we'll seat you anyway. But I definitely was underdressed. Visually, walk me through. The room, Jamie. You walk in to raise and what do you see? A lot of wood everywhere, so it's a very warm feeling. Um, you can go upstairs. If you go upstairs, is the cafe and the outdoor, you know, deck overlooking the water, which is a great place to go for cocktails when it's warm outside. And then you walk into the dining room, and it's like you know, glass windows all the way along. So it's a, it's you get a span of a view. I mean, it's it's long and beautiful. Every seat's great. Every, every seat every is great. Yeah, that's what's nice. I think we saw someone on a first date uh, there. <laughs> it is nice that um, they can accommodate groups. What about um, beverages? We had a couple of the uh, mixed drinks. There was a pineapple mojito, which was awesome. Uh, I really liked it a lot, but my girlfriend ordered that one. She didn't quite like it. She said it was too much for her, and I ordered, um, like, it was a Marion Berry Cosmo or something. And I, mm. I, I had a special how, request. How yeah. Well, I know. I had, a, I had a special request. I said, please don't put it in one of those fancy glasses. Can you, like, put it in, like, a normal glass? Anyone else? We had wine. I asked a question about one of the rosés, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll try this one. And, and the waitress came out to the table um, with the bottle in her hand and said, you know, why don't you taste a little bit first and see if you like it? And I thought that was a lovely touch. Whenever you order a glass of wine, they bring the bottle to the table and pour it so you can see the label. And I thought that was a lovely, a lovely element of service. Our server was really friendly and personable. And then um, she was gone for a really long time. So, you know, we ran out of bread. We probably would have ordered more food if she had come back. So it was kind of a loss to the restaurant. For the price that you're paying, I expected a lot better service. Our service was great. She was on the ball and checked up on us and got everything right and made some great recommendations. So, um, you know, definitely bang for the buck was great. And how about you, Jamie? We were there at five o'clock. 
So there weren't, it wasn't, there weren't a lot of people there yet. Um, so we got a lot of attention, which was, you know, really nice. And um, yeah, we, I just felt like it was, it was fine all the way through. Very, very accommodating. All right, Jamie, well, you picked Ray's Boathouse as your favorite spot. Sum it up for us. It is quality seafood and fish. You know what you're going to get when you go there. An incredible view and a Seattle icon. Good for people who live here and for tourists. Mike? Excellent all around. It's, uh, you know, once again, great, great seafood, great fish. Uh, everything on the menu looked delicious. I wish I could have ordered more and had more room <laughs> for more. And Madeline? Good place to celebrate a special occasion or take out-of-town guests. All right, well, you can take your out-of-town guests to try this fresh seafood for yourself at Ray's Boathouse, 6049 Seaview Avenue Northwest in Seattle, 206-789-3770. Open nightly for dinner, and reservations are accepted.